Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Miami Marlins. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. And, Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. So almost ready to get underway pitching in our game today. Devin Smeltzer. And, Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Well, I'm looking to see if he can increase the amount of swings and misses and perhaps get more strikeouts because hitters are batting over 300 against him. And... That means guys are getting the barrel to the ball. Oh, now this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Caught it out front and ripped it down the line. And as soon as he saw it get through the infield, man, he started making that big turn towards second for the double. Here's Jerry Kelnick hitting the air, center field. Mesa moving under it. And out number one on the grab. Here's Brian Snickers lineup for the Braves. Singy, this lineup has the benefit of playing behind a great pitching staff. They've got a really low ERA. Yeah, and, you know, with that said, there's not as much pressure on the offense. But make no mistake about it. Guys want to hit the ball hard, and they want to score runs. They want to jog around the bases, hitting the ball over the fence. So... Regardless of how dominant the staff can be, the attitude is we want to go out there and have some fun with the bat. So we'll see. One big inning in this one, you know, could be all they need, but you'd like to have multiple big innings. Man, it's second. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh boy, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all yeah. over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Lays out and makes the play. One of the most fun and exciting things you can do as an outfielder, you lay out, you make a diving catch, and you end the inning. That gets the team fired up in the dugout. John Birdie at the plate. The line to kick the pitch. Line drive. And that gets down for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. And at the plate for Miami, Victor Mesa Jr. And a foul ball left side. And the pitch. Double play ball to second. All these over to second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Here's Josh Bell. Not getting the results he's wanted at the plate recently. Only two hits over the last five games. Mesa at first, one gone. That one ripped, but foul. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's hoping for a big performance in this one. Olsen pulls it down, and there are two outs. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Runner on the go. One out. This one in the dirt. Throw is low, and he can't pick it. Safe in second, and he easily steals the bag. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ballgame. Can't imagine he'll change the attack nope. plan too much. Just missed. Runner at second, two down. Here in the second game of the series. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Stays alive. The pitch. That misses the zone. And now three and two. And on second, two down. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. That one is absolutely belted. Wall ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Marlins leave one. We played an inning. No score.
Back here in Miami, here is Ozzy Albies up to him. Smeltzer back to work. To the left side, but it is well fouled. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And boom, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most players are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. Here's Austin Riley. Swing and a ball lifted left field. That one gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Here's Sean Murphy. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. In the air to left center. Mesa drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. And there's two away. Oh, the throw is wild. Here's Orlando Arcia. And Singy, we already know he's going to finish the season with a new career high in home runs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. No score here in the second. seeing the ball well and he's got his timing locked in he's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now <laughs> took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall I thought for a second he brought it back out there too he gave it a great effort but you know those plays are so tough to pull off and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it two outs nobody on here's David Fletcher hard hit left side Toss to Mancini, yeah. and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two-zip. You're watching Major League. Bottom of the inning at the play. Jesus Sanchez. First pitch misses. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. The fish trailing by two. Bottom half of inning number two. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Struck him out looking. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, but clearly that last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0 and 2 and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke off, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Just missed. One and one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Arcia makes the grab, and there's two gone. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Two outs. Ah. 
just off the inside edge. It's a good take. Swings through it for the K. He swung over top of the curveball. One left for Miami, and they're down 2 nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Forrest Wall. Line drive, and a base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Kelman, oh, now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And that misses off the outside edge. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Kicks and fires. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Next offering is down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Misses off the plate, and the count's full. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. There, able to take the walk. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the, the makings of a big inning point. if they can get a couple more well, quality at bats. Acuna. Acuna at the plate now. That's ball one. Ball one, no play. On the ground, two ball. The throw to second. Back to first, and that is a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Olsen swings through that one as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Next offering is in for a strike. Wall on third with two out. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. He's safe. In comes the runner from third. It's three zip. So two down. Now in for the Braves. Ozzy Albies. This one lifted in the air, left field. Sanchez makes the catch, and that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. Back here at Lone Depot Park, set for the bottom of the third. Now it's the second baseman, Corey Howell. And nope. that one a little below the knees, ball one. Ground ball, Olsen. He handles it himself. One up, one down. John Birdie, the next up for the Marlins. On the ground, right side. Olsen takes it to the bag. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Mason, 22 years old. And he was born in Cuba. Next offering is in for a strike. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. And the Marlins down quietly. They trail it here. Three nothing. Back here in Miami, John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Austin Riley. That one blasted deep to right. Garcia going back, and it hits the fence. A couple of 
couple of hits in a row for him here. Now Showed that, off some that, really that, nice opera yeah. pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. Next to hit, Sean Murphy. That one fouled off. Here comes the 0-1. I got one ball, one strike. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Next offering is foul back. Nobody out. Runner at first. Line drive. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And a foul ball, third base side. This one popped up. Bethencourt should have this one. Puts it away for the out. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Man at first, David Fletcher. Next up for the Braves. Back up the middle and a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. So the batting order turns over. Forrest Wall next up for the Braves. Foul ball there. On the ground right side. And that's just foul. Two on, two outs. Liner, base hit. Here comes Riley. Fires it to the plate, and he's out. Up down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming. Bottom of the fourth. Now it's the DH, Josh Bell. First pitch, just misses. Had a That's good a eye there. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. That one to first, and foul ball. And that skips into there. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. The Marlins trailing by three. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Bounce to the left side. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Slice the other way and foul. First and second, no outs here in the second game of the series. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. And a swing and a miss. The 2-2 gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. And he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Christian Bethencourt, the next up for the Marlins. That clips the corner. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue finish off this hitter. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2.
Two on, one out. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, having such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a battle. And here it comes. Three. Got it by him for the K. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. Fall off foul. And now the lefty. There's a strike. Bell at second. Berger at first. Two out of the inning. Just missing there. And a count one and two. And a pitch. Up the middle. Arcia whips it to first on the run. And that ends the inning. Marlins strand a pair. They trail in this one, 3 0. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, Jared Kelnick. First pitch, and he just misses. You know, these Braves doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. This one high in the air to left center. Sanchez sizing this one up, makes the grab one down. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends it out of here. His 63rd home run of the season. And they tack one on the board. It's 4-0. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. When you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity's not there. The extension makes the catch. That diving catch right there is the kind of play that just fires up the team, whether it's to make more great defensive plays or to get back in the dugout and swing the sticks. That's to third. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make it to first, and we'll see how they score it. Now well, two outs. I'm thinking he had his mind on getting in the dugout so they can get to hit, and all it takes is just... Noble Meyer comes on now. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A massive home run. His 67th home run of the year, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him. But now he's got to find a way to reset. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. No Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Max Meyer up and throwing. Sanchez also getting ready. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the second. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 6 nothing ball game. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Trey Mancini now. That one finds the zone. One, one. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come Aye. one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Just the misses the one. mark outside the zone. Ah. Low 
Here's the high he passed him. That's a strikeout. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to oh, miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. The Fish with a lot of ground to make up. Last half of inning number five. And that clips the inside corner. One ball, two strikes. Up the middle, Albies tosses to first. Home half of the fifth inning, moving along two the back outs. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, bases empty. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Two outs, runner at first. Victor Mesa Jr., the next up for the Marlins. Two outs. Late swing, foul to the left. The pitch. He goes down looking. Marlins leave one. They still find themselves down. Six zip. the sixth inning and now the shortstop Orlando Arcia Meyer back to work Meyer a 6-5 righty just 19 years old a former first round pick in 2023 that one finds the zone and a count one and one, one, and one. and another ball Righty to the plate. Pitch oh. misses there. And that's ball three. Yeah. Right through there for a strike. Count is three and two. And that's ball four. Off the so a man aboard. Here's the left fielder, David Fletcher. One for two. That one the other way. Garcia makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Back to the top of the lineup. Forrest Wall. Next up for the Braves. Three for three with two singles and a double. That's to third. This looks like extra bases. Lead runner around second. And he's got to double his fourth hit. Waste no time there. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Both brothers tagging. He'll score on the sack fly. It's seven to nothing. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. This one in the air. Bethencourt pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. So one run on one hit. No errors and a runner left. Heart of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Braves 7 and the Marlins nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. And now here's the Marlins DH, Josh Bell. Hard ground ball, base down. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. In there at the knees for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Up next Jesus Sanchez. The next up for the Marlins. 
And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. On the ground right side. And he grabs it. Foul. The Braves up big in this one here in the bottom of the sixth. Slider got him for a strike three. And now for the Marlins, Christian Bethencourt. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That one catches the zone. That is strike two. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man nope. oh. on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Popped up. All these under this one. And he makes the catch. That is the inning. One left for Miami. Not going their way. It's 7 nothing. Back here in Miami, we go to the top of the seventh. And now Matt Olsen up to hit. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Miami's bullpen with some action. Andrew Nardi preparing to come on if needed. Weathers getting cranked up as well. And it's fouled away. Oh, and two now. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Got him. Yeah. One away on the strikeout. Ozzie Albee's up to the ball. plate. Second base. Ozzie Albee. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Oh, the, the Braves up big in this one. Here, the top half of inning number seven. Comes up empty. No ball, two strikes. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Ball up and one. in. Yeah, the count one and one two. Ball, two strikes, the count. Wouldn't Two chase that time. The pitch. Three. That one 95 to finish him off. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And a foul ball. The line of the pitch. Hey. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Oh, okay. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. Hey. Got it looking. That's a strikeout. Braves are set down one, two, three. And they hold a seven-nothing lead. fielder of Asayu Garcia there's a strike usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing he has filled up the strike zone and he's got to head the count with first pitch strike swings and blasts one deep to left center and that one hops the wall and that's a leadoff double Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Corey Howell now at the plate. And that's in for a strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. The Marlins with a lot of ground to make up here at the bottom of the seven. Just nope. missed the inside corner, one ball, and it's one and two. two. Right. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. 
Now, now, now it's the Marlins leadoff hitter, John Birdie. 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 Strike one. The shortstop takes a ball. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Around third. Throws to second. The tag, and they cut him down, going for two. But one run does score in the play before the inning ends. So they get one run on two base hits. No errors, no one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Braves seven and the Marlins one. we at the top of the eight. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Sean Murphy. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Oh and one. Ah, that hit him. And yeah, the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Man at first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. He's already homered in this game. Hammer. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm now. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Andrew Nardi. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he realizes he'll get that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Powell settles under it and makes the catch. What a way. Here's the center fielder, Forrest Wall. Four for four, two doubles and two singles. That one misses oh. the zone, and that's ball one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. one, ball, one Sides strike. of activity in the pen for the Marlins. JT Shagwa, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Ball, and another ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, Aye. it's going to bring in some runs. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. And now it's filled up. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Runners at first and second with one gone. And we're in the top of the eighth. In the air to left down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Two on, one out. Ground ball left side could be two. Left flip for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So one hit is all they get. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Braves seven and the Marlins one. And we're back. They go with one of their more experienced arms in this spot, Charlie Morton. Now, definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base. Oh, this one high and deep, way back there. And out of here. A shot to the opposite field. His second of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 7-2. First pitch hacking, and it paid off for him in a big way. to the game first pitch out of the bullpen a tough one and you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike and on the other side is a hitter it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly it's not what they were looking for when they turned to him but now he's got to find a way to reset right through there for a strike Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. Berger, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. One. 
One out, bases empty, and a run in here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. is lifted in the air Fletcher under it and there's two away just pulled off of it a little bit right there that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed if he does that he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left that's hard hit on the line and that is the third out of the inning one for the Marlins on the solo shot. It's now a 7-2 ball game. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Jared Kelder. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. First pitch swinging. Nardin goes six feet, three inches. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Nope, that's a ball. And there's a ball. Way out front for strike two. Oh, no. was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing the more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one. Filthy change up right there. Just pulled the string. One that ball. one almost got him. Right. Base is empty one away. Here at the top of the ninth. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here is Matt Olson. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Sanchez makes the catch, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. It all set for the bottom of the ninth. Now, Christian Bethencourt. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. Count one and oh. Ripped on a line. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. He's now two outs out. away. Avisayu oh, Garcia, the next up for the Good. Marlins. Swings through that. Just a bit tardy there. Not oh, sure if he down. had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Hey. That one's in there. But with two down. One out, base is empty. Hit in the air, left field. Fletcher moves under it, hauls it in for the out. And now the first baseman, Trey Mancini. Right hey. through there for a strike. 0 oh, 1. The Braves leading by five. Here, the last half of inning number nine. Oh. Good eye right there. Swings through that one out in front that time. One more. Morton is Two just strikes. one strike away. Kicks and deals. And that'll do it. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 7-2 your final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.